starting the morning shift, I was really freaked out. It can be very daunting. Starting the morning shift is dark, but it doesn't have to be scary. This is kind of my rundown of what I do every morning, just to show you. It's really not all that bad. My alarm goes off at 2 a.m. sharp. It is the sound from hell, but it is the only thing that makes sure that I wake up because I hate it so much. I found out by pressing snooze, it just makes it harder to wake up. So I turn the light on, let myself stretch for a little bit, and then I check my social media, but most importantly, my work email. I just need to make sure nothing happened overnight and there's no breaking news so I can get ready and head into work like it's just a normal day. After I've kind of laid around for like five minutes or so, I need to get ready to go downstairs. So I put on my favorite Ugg slippers and my robe. This is so important to me because it just warms my body up. If you're cold, you can't like fully wake up. You just hate your life and want to be back in bed like a normal person on a normal sleeping schedule. But being warm helps, so I throw all that on and I go downstairs to my bathroom, turn on every single light in the house and try to pretend that some of it is sunlight. First things first, when I get into the bathroom, my hair. I have a horse's mane for hair. It's super rough, it's super long, it's super thick. So I just brush it out. I sleep with it in a bun so it doesn't get greasy so I can wash it like every five days, like as minimal as possible. I get it out of my face so I can wash my face and get my makeup going. Face routine wise, I use a super basic CeraVe face wash and face lotion. It's just really moisturizing for my skin and I use a lot of face masks and stuff and also I am really prone to acne. So I just know that it's gonna work and it helps make me up. I mean, you'll realize when you wash your face, you wake up a lot more just for that. Next is kind of the weirdest thing. I'm just like a hairy person, so I have super long eyebrows. I take a little like old mascara wand type thing and I brush out my eyebrows. I have to do it, it's my pet peeve. And then I always have leftover mascara, even if I haven't worn mascara in like a week, I swear. So I make sure my eyes are all clean and then I can get going to whatever I have next. Also, it is summertime, so I get peeling on my nose during the summer because I am definitely not super healthy when it comes to the sun. I just love it. So I bake out there and my nose starts to peel. So this is my absolute favorite product. It's the Ultra Pair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream, but you can use it like day or night. It's by First Aid Beauty and it's super thick. So it really soaks into my nose and makes it a lot more nourished and moisturized before I begin my day. My number one product with the morning shift, you gotta have an under eye cream. So I use All About the Eye by Clinique. Love, love, love. I was scared that it was not gonna be enough, but a little bit goes a long ways. I actually use this twice a day. Eye drops, so weird, especially like on the morning shift. My eyes sometimes are a little bit red, so like I put in like two to three per eye and throughout the rest of the day I don't get bloodshot eyes. Like I go through Visine like it's no one's business. So now that my face is all clean, I sometimes listen to music or I listen to Oprah. I even have an Oprah candle, so I got this when I was in Austin, Texas. I'm so obsessed with Oprah. I love listening to Super Soul Sunday, her podcast when I get ready. It's just always full of really positive messages and really good speakers and it's just some good stuff while I'm doing my makeup and thinking about the show ahead to make sure I'm feeling positive and kind of putting my best foot forward. So the next couple minutes are just me kind of doing my makeup, getting my TV makeup ready for the day, jamming out, feeling good, trying to stay positive. If you guys do want a makeup tutorial, I can probably do that separately for how I do my TV makeup. It's a little bit different than definitely everyday makeup. The last thing I do is my setting spray. Kind of finish off my makeup, shake my face off, and then it's finally time for me to move on to my hair. I will admit I am so bad about my hair. I throw it up at any opportunity. 
it's just so hard to wake up even earlier to curl it and it's hard for TV so any opportunity I put it in a ponytail and lucky for me today I have a sports shoot so cue the ponytail helicopter I'm just gonna throw it up and then I'm good to head upstairs again Once I'm back upstairs, I make sure, if I have time, 99% of the time, I make sure I make my bed. It's so hard to fall asleep on the morning shift, and I really have found having your bed made and just your room clean, it helps you relax so much when you get back. Settling into a bed, like on making it, just really helps you get ready for bed, so I always make sure I do that, make it nice and pretty, and then I pick out my clothes for the day. Today I'm going for just a super comfy hiker look because we're doing a sporty outside shoot. Yeah, just super simple and comfy. After I throw on my clothes, I'm usually, to be honest, in a pretty huge rush. So I run downstairs, grab my breakfast, think thin bar, a water bottle, and a lunch. It's already in there. I throw it in my backpack. I don't even bother with the purse at this point in my job. And I run outside. As soon as I get to work, I run in and my reward for the last hour or two of getting ready is my most favorite thing, my saving grace, coffee. So I do coffee and some espresso, I throw it in a to-go cup and yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. I hope that if you guys are starting the morning shift, this helps you out a little bit and don't worry, it's dark but doesn't need to be that scary.